YouTube. Right. Hi there, YouTube. Now, we're going to be doing a bit of an experiment. Well, a bet on this one. My lovely wife has decided that she's going to try and do the whole uh, cereal and water thing. Now, this is my wife, my lovely wife. Um, right, so she's going to be attempting... What cereal are you having with? Cornflakes. Right, she's going to be doing it with cornflakes. Now, we haven't tried this, but we have seen it repeatedly on YouTube a few... Uh, for the last week or so, and we are going to give it a try. Now, I'm going to hand you over to the wife. Well, you are talking, you just said stuff. Right, so, I'm going to leave this next bit up to her. I actually can't believe she's going to go ahead and do this. How is it? Not as horrible as people said. Right. I can't actually believe you're doing this. <laughs> it's really horrible. You want to try some? No, I hate cereal. Get off. How's um, it? How's it look? Oh, that doesn't look. It's not enough to gag like some people have, but. I can't actually believe you're eating this stuff. Right, we should point out something that both of us have noticed. When people are doing this on um, YouTube and they're doing the challenge, it depends on the cereal you're having because obviously cornflakes are quite thick and they don't really soak much up. But for instance, if you have like Rice Krispies or my Wheat Mix, they're going to soak up everything. It's going to taste foul. Are you really enjoying it? No, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> right, so, uh, mark out of 10. 10 being the greatest thing in the world. No, 10 cool. being. Really? It's not horrible, but it's not nice either. Would you recommend doing it if you had the time to spare or you had no milk? Or would you prefer just to eat it dry? Probably just eat it dry. Yeah. <laughs> See, now that is a cereal top tip, okay? Now, behave and go and try this. Okay. Say bye. Bye.